the RDA meeting only. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Mike Huzar from 131 North Main Street. Um, I'd also like to thank the RDA for their time. <clears throat> and I find it interesting that we say the property is really hard to sell, then why don't we just put a sign up that says property's free? Why are we paying somebody a commission to sell a piece of property when we ultimately sell it for a dollar and they're saying we got to put a hundred some thousand into cleaning the property up, then we're going to pay MLG to sell the property. Why don't we just give it away, John? Why are we paying tax money, good tax money, to give away property? Let's just give it away. Put a sign up that says free for the taking. I'm sure you'll, somebody's going to take it. You find things all over the city where people want to get rid of something and they put free and people take it. Maybe we got to think about that. Um, the question I have about the RDA is, my understanding, and I could be wrong, is unless there's a developer's agreement required, this council doesn't see anything of what's going on. Is that correct? I think in every case the plan commission requires a developer's agreement which comes before the council. For Is there a developer's this. agreement for the bankery? No. We never saw that. I don't think there was one for the bankery. No. So then it's not in every case yeah. that there's a developer's agreement. Yeah. Get your information straight before you speak. So with that thought, I go along with what Ed is saying that somebody needs to have some accountability to the taxpayers of what's going on with the RDA. And it's the people that we're electing to represent us. It's not just all of a sudden in a back room, something can happen and mysteriously appear and we end up where we're at today. Because to some extent, I think that's what happened with this deal. Until the developer's agreement came out, Nobody knew what the RDA was up to unless they read the minutes. I agree with Brian. I think somebody needs to be sending more information out, letting people know what's going on. You guys are all busy, we're all busy, everybody's busy in their lives, but you have an obligation to the taxpayers to keep us informed of what's happening in this community. And you can sit there and say, it's your obligation but you know what, it's your obligation because we put you there. The other thing that, that I um, would really like to know is how many times has the RDA gone against city planning and said, you know what, John, your office doesn't know what they're doing. This doesn't make sense. We shouldn't do this. My feeling is, unfortunately, John's office has been able to maneuver around, talk to people through the back door, say what they want to say to your face so that you feel good about it, and then ultimately get what they want for this community. Not what the community wants, but what a small group of individuals in the community development office need or want for their ego or whatever we want to call it. And I've sat in a lot of meetings. I was in the Camaros meetings. Um, I question how much of that Camaros study was ever even used. Just like all, a majority of the other studies that were done for the downtown, they're put on a shelf and maybe they get dusted off. It's what the community development wants and not what the citizens of this city want. And I really want an answer on that question of how many times the RDA went against 